Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In this class number 33, we are going to learn what is dynamic rendering, how server side rendering is now become dynamic rendering in Next.js 13, how to implement dynamic rendering by using cache no store property and how to code dynamic rendering in Next.js 13 version that we are going to learn. So what is dynamic rendering? I told you in my previous video also there are three types of rendering static site generation that has been named or is changed name to static rendering. Second one is dynamic rendering. It was server side rendering in the next GS 12 and before version but now name has been changed and this name has been changed to dynamic rendering that means static rendering and dynamic rendering so static rendering i have explained in previous video how to implement in nextjs 13 by using cache force cache now in this video i am going to explain you how to do dynamic rendering in nextjs 13 what is uh, dynamic rendering now what is dynamic rendering dynamic rendering means generating html pages plus json pages on server side not on a client browser like we do in react remember that in next.js we generate html plus json pages on server side that is called dynamic rendering remember that it's a part of pre-rendering that's why that means these pages are pre-generated means these pages are generated before actually user make a request so by the coding nature we analyze that these are the pages those will be static in nature but the request will come from the client side then these page will be displayed so client make a request and click on some page and that page will open but remember that that page is already generated on a server means when user make a request on that time that page only open or load into the memory this page is not converted into html in case of client side rendering when user click on particular link on that time that page is converted into html with the help of javascript that is the nature of react remember that but here we are using the nature of next.js called pre-rendering so in case of dynamic rendering pages already generated on a server but this page load into the memory whenever user click on a particular link that means page is loading in memory at runtime that is called dynamic in nature that's why we called it dynamic rendering so in previous video i have explained you that how to implement static rendering or static site generation now in this video i am going to explain you how to do dynamic rendering or server side rendering in next.js 13 version remember that now server side rendering become dynamic rendering in next.js 13 and how to use this cache no store and how to build this we are going to learn in this video now in previous video we have made this coding remember so it's a very very simple code same code we are going to implement in this also so already i have uh, use this SSR and remember that I have explained in previous video also that this code get server side props is not running because this is the function that we used in next.js 12 or before version for server side rendering but this is not working right now so we are using the concept of next.js 13 so how to do this so just we have to create the function so I say export I say const and I give get cots remember and this is a arrow function so we do like this and I make it async also uh, then I use here const I say data equal to fetch and in this fetch I need to pass this same URL it was not running on 13 version but I am using fetch function for that now additional parameter we have to pass for server side rendering and that is cache and here we have to pass no store remember that it must to pass no store then it will execute this code as a server side rendering now i say 
const q data equal to data dot json so this is the then i return so i say return q data dot cots and here also i have to put await remember save this now i need to call this on dynamic rendering so i say const and i say quotes equal to await await and say get quotes this function i have to call and because it's await so i have to use async here also now data is coming here so i have to display this here i am using use of get server so here i say i remove this and i say dynamic rendering in next js 13 here uh, again i need to display this so i say cots dot map and under this i need arrow function and this arrow function have one cot at a time then i use div here i pass key also to the div i say cot dot id the same coding which i did in previous video also for static rendering now i use link component from next.js and here i need to pass the author information so i say cot dot author then in href i need to pass the value and the parameter and i have to open the cot remember that this cot page i have already created and i have explained this in how to pass data from route to route video that is listed in my playlist so you can search there passing data from route to route i have explained this how to pass this data to this route the same i'm passing here so for that i say path name and here in path name i am passing the cot this is the path name then i have to pass the query so how to pass this query i have explained in my previous video same video passing data from route to route and here i say the cot and in this cot i display cot dot cot from where this is coming remember that this api have these values and parameters so i am using those parameter here all everything is same the one thing is different that here i am using no store so that means it will run as a server side rendering component so i save this remember now i try to go to this this is for you see example of static rendering for next js 13 and above we have this same list if i click on ssr so i will have the same type of link here also you see same type of link is there same page same link but this time i am using server side rendering or dynamic rendering i click on this and it will display same by using cot so mechanism is same remember that all the approaches are same the coding is same same component i am using but this is for static rendering example and this is for dynamic rendering now it is dynamic rendering this is static rendering how we identify this we identify by this so i close this application again i try to build it and in the build process you will see that this route route number ssr that will be treat as a server side rendering remember that so it will take time you see that we have this hollow circle for a static this lambda for server so you see that we are using ssr means this is server side rendering and i told you that how to do server side rendering so i put here no store and you see that now ssr folder ssr route this route is treat as a server side rendering and remember that count this cots also server side rendering it was earlier also server side because it open when you when user click so when user click and we generate a page that run on server side so that's why it's server side rendering but this is client side rendering remember that same code is there i explained previous video that same code is there but here we put force cache so it is client side rendering or static rendering and here i'm using no store that's why it's a server side rendering or it is called dynamic rendering in next.js 13 remember that so i have shown you here i have given you the live demo also and live i have explained you that this is server side and this is static side generation so once again i run this application and i go to this ppt remember that what is dynamic rendering i have explained you dynamic rendering and server side rendering both are same concept but in next year's 12 and before version we called it server side rendering but here now we are at 
calling it to dynamic rendering. We use cache no store for server side rendering and how to make a code I have explained in this video. So everything is done. In next video, we will see incremental static regeneration in next GS 13. So if you like this video, please do subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.